Hey, hey, Julie Burke here. How is everyone doing today? I am coming to you live from the parking lot of my post office. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I went to the post office yesterday and the line was like a million miles long and I just was like, mm -mm, no, not staying, you guys. Like, I don't have time to wait in a line that long for a post office. Anyways, um... Yep, as you're popping in, you guys say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. This live will be short. No, no Starbucks today, Natalie. I'm actually meeting somebody today uh, for lunch. So uh, I needed to get out of the house for a little bit and just kind of, um, you know, decompress. Those of you that know what's going on with my dog, I uh, she's been real sick, been taking care of her, and um unfortunately uh it's not looking too good and it's just a crappy time of year for this to be happening but um I've been really stressed out and really upset and so I just needed to kind of break away for a little bit and so no Starbucks today but I am coming to you live from a post office <laughs> and um I'm hoping that the line is not going to be as long today because yesterday it was awful um, anyways, so, hey guys, all right, hi Lisa, hey Sarah, Wisconsin in the house, what's going on, uh, Danielle, yep, so listen, if you are new to who I am, my name is Julie Burke, I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com, and, um, if you share this broadcast, I will make sure to get you a free gift, all I need you to do is share it, and then write share in the comments, and I'll give you a shout out, hey Katie, what's up, um, I have actually um, a couple new free gifts coming your way. I have this awesome branding assessment workbook and I have a fan page um, checklist. So everyone keep their eyes peeled for that. But if you want it now, you have to put share, share this broadcast and put share in the comments because today I'm going to be talking to you about posture because I feel posture is absolutely crucial uh, to building your business. Um, and I've said this always like I said this from day one um, when I got started in network marketing which was five years ago so if you are new to me thank you Sarah for sharing I appreciate it if you are new to who I am um, thank you Tiffany um, real quick synopsis of my background I've been in network marketing for five years I uh, quickly build a six-figure income within a year primarily from using Facebook five years ago but guess what times have changed on social media times have changed in the way of network marketers and how they build their business um, so last year I started branching out and learned a lot about um, how to brand I learned a lot about attraction marketing and um, even though I went on to create multiple six figures in that company I actually switched companies I decided that company was no longer the right company for me because um I was winning, but my team wasn't winning, and I needed to find a company that everyone could win. It's super important to me to find a company. So I, I found some flaws in that company, and one of the, the things was I wanted a bulletproof online system because I primarily teach entrepreneurs to build their business online. So I work with network marketers, I work with affiliate marketers, and I work with coaches, right? And so... Um, I decided to walk away from multiple six figure and start it over again. And I've never been happier. Now I will tell you in this second go around in my network marketing career. Um, I'm sorry. I know there's like distraction in the background guys, just kind of focus on what I'm saying and not this lady getting her kid out of the car. Okay. Um, and so, uh, Sarah, if you want to know my company, you could feel free to message me. I, I don't want to make this about like my network marketing company. I really want to keep it, uh, more about, you know, everyone that watches, but I'm happy to share if you want to message me. Okay. Um, but here's one thing I've always done in my business and, um, and it's, it, it, it's, I'm going to give you guys twofold. Okay, this is something I've always done in my business is have posture. But what I, I did not do in my last business that I'm doing now in my uh, current, in my new network marketing company is creating a vision of partnerships, creating a vision of the, the partners that I wanted to uh, attract to me for my new network marketing company. So this is what I mean. When we talk about posture and we talk about team building, 
um, there are some things that you really want to have. And number one is um, you want to have clarity around what you're creating. You want to have clarity around who you are as a person. So I'll give you an example. In my last company, I had posture with my customers in regards to um, I had such belief in my product that if they didn't want it, I was like, all right, cool, no problem, I'm on to the next person. Like, I didn't care about the nose, you guys. I really didn't. I was like, you know what? There's, like, billions of people out there. I could find somebody else that will really appreciate what I have here, okay? So that was always the posture I took. But with team building, I was like, ooh, you want to do the business? Cool. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was excited they wanted to do the business. But guess what? I wasn't bringing in the right people that you know, I didn't bring in the right people that I actually, that were actually taking initiative in a leadership role. Like I was looked at as the leader. So I had to constantly do leadership trainings. Um, and I kept, you know, trying to bring up other leaders, which other leaders were rising up, but it still was, a lot of it was offline. It just, it really wasn't what I, I was looking for. I felt like, um, they were incredible people, my, my past team, but it, there was just something missing. There was something missing in terms of energy and synergy. And so when I really sat down and I got clear on it, it was something I learned from one of my mentors, you guys. Um, and he talks about, so let me back up before I get into this. One of the things that you want to ask yourself is what is your core values? So that's really important because I sit here and I say, okay, well, um, this is who I am and this is the impact I want to make. And these are the people that I I'm looking to bring in that also have these core values. Okay. So you have to think about that first. Number two is who is your ideal partner? So I'll give you an example. And this is goes into the vision and the vision board and whatever it is that you create for your vision that I've now created for my new team. And this is truly why I feel like we are absolutely rocking it in our business. So I didn't do this in my last company, but there was this woman in my last company and she talked about this. She talked about how she, when she got started in the business, her vision was, first of all, she lost 80 pounds in the company. Secondly, her vision was to bring in fitness experts. Like her vision for her team was, was to have all these different, um, like just, people in the fitness industry. Like that was it. Like she really niched it down and guess what? Her entire team was made up of fitness experts. I'm not even joking. She brought in, you know, oxygen, um, and shape cover magazine models. She brought in like all of these people into that business. And that was her vision. She always talked about this when she was getting started. And, and so she just went after it. And when you have a vision, it's like, um, you're like set on fire because what people bring to you in terms of telling you no or telling you or giving you rejection, you literally like it's laughable. You just you shake it off when you have a vision. So I created this vision. It was like a fresh start for me. Like so I left my last company in May. I started with a new company in June. I kind of laid low for a while. I didn't talk about it, you guys, because it it was a bad breakup. Like it was sad to me. Like I left a team and I left a really significant income, but guess what? I come from an abundance mentality of that's cool. I left multiple six figures, but now I'm going to go over here and create seven and I'm going to help everyone else create whatever it is that they desire because now I have the system. Okay. Now we have everything set in place where, where it was lacking before. So do you see what I'm saying? Like some people would think about, oh, what we're giving up, but no, you have to think about what you're gaining, okay? So you have to define your culture. You want to define your culture and you don't just want to bring anybody into your opportunity. I promise you this. If you do, you will be miserable, okay? And I'm not saying I was miserable in my old company, you guys. That's not what I'm trying to say, but I wasn't necessarily happy. Okay. I wasn't happy, um, for many different reasons. Okay. So you want to, um, enroll with purpose. You want to enroll with, with qualifying people. Don't just slam people into your opportunity just to get them into your opportunity because they won't either stick around or they will drive you freaking crazy. Okay. 
Um, so what one of my mentors talks about is um, don't be desperate, right? We don't want to be desperate when we're building our business. We don't want to build out of desperation. We want to build out of inspiration. You want to build with purpose always, you guys. And so what he he teaches and what he taught me is these seven qualifications and it's um, honesty. Obviously, I don't want anyone into my team that is not honest. Somebody that is humble. I'm not looking for people to be brought into my team that are not genuine and really uh, grateful for whatever it is that they're creating in their life, in their business. Okay. Somebody that has to be humble. Um, somebody that is hardworking because I'm not going to do the work for them. Absolutely not. I have been there. I have done that. And it was my own mistake and shame on me once, but not shame on me twice. So they have to be hardworking. Um, I also look for people that are focused because let me tell you something. We are living in an age where, and I am, you know, I'm not saying I am an angel in this department, but I also have to rein it in because it's very easy to get distracted. And I'm talking like, oh, here's this training over here, or oh, here's this group over here, and if you get in this group, there's all these trainings over here, and like we're bombarded with freaking trainings and not taking enough action. When you're constantly in learn mode, you, you're not taking action, and when we were in Cyber Monday, Black Friday phase, I will tell you, I rank advanced seven times in 24 hours, and I had 44 team members rank advanced in four days. How do you think I did that? How do you guys think I did that? Drop me a comment below. What do you think I was? I'll wait because I know there's a delay. How do you think I rank advanced seven times in, in, in a 24-hour period? Just drop me a word. Any word. Sarah, thank you. I love that you love my advice. I appreciate that. Yes. Yes. Focused. Not drowning in trainings. Chris said focus. Natalie says focus. Monica, momentum. Yes, Lisa says focus. You guys, yes, Danielle, working. <laughs> Danielle, I was at my freaking computer for 16 hours straight. It was crazy. Determined, yes, all of that. But the number one thing was focus. I spoke it forward. I spoke it out. I knocked off everything else for that one week. I did not work on my funnels. I did not work on my branding. I did not work on my website. I did not work on a blog post. I did not work on anything. I legitimately worked on serving my team and um, running promotions for my team. And we just like, were so dialed in in a unit on our team that that's where you create the energy, right? Like energy creates energy. So the energy came from the team. So we got, we put a plan together and I stayed focused. I did not get distracted. Okay. So that's another thing. Um, highly motivated. I look for people that are highly motivated. You do not want to push a wet noodle up a hill. I promise you it can't like you're ro right. Think about that. A wet noodle up the hill, right? You're rolling, you're rolling, you're rolling. And it breaks apart. It breaks apart, it breaks apart. You will break apart. I promise you. Okay. So hardworking, um, are highly motivated, um, hungry to learn, hungry to learn, but not overlearn. Like they need to learn the system. I'm talking about hungry to learn your system, not hungry to learn all these other trainings, hungry to learn. Okay. What's my step one? What's my step two? Like, what do I need to do? I don't want to drag someone. I want to say, okay, you're going to go here and this is what, this is your day one. This is your day two. Here's your seven day quick start. You need to take action every single day. You have to do a Facebook live. This is what your Facebook live is about, right? Like I'm giving them the roadmap, but they have to take the action. Okay. I'm not going to do it for them. I already do my own Facebook lives, right? So, um, they're hungry to learn the system. They're happy. I don't want any freaking naysayers, right? We don't want naysayers. We don't want Debbie Downers. We don't want that negative energy in the team. So you have to have that posture set up front first, okay? You want happy people. And a team is about supporting one another, okay? And I will tell you, going through this very difficult time right now in our family, like literally got hit by a truck and learned that our dog is dying of cancer, it started with a urinary tract infection and then weeks later was a tumor that they can operate on to literally in a couple days later finally told us that she was terminal. Okay. So, I mean, she's our baby. 
all right? So it was a lot to take. It was a lot to process, a lot of emotions, a lot of crying has taken place into our home. Um, disruption with my children, like they're disrupted. Like our whole household has been disrupted. Guess what? I have an amazing team that they're like, you know what? We got it. Everything's cool. Like I have a system set in place so we're leveraged and the team the, the culture is there. Do you guys understand this? Like, is this making sense? Like you're the, the cult, you're bringing the culture to the team and you're defining the culture or else your team will define the culture for you. And you do not want that as a leader. You want to have, you want to make sure that that culture there is there with your team. And so my, our team knows like we are united and the support and the love that they have given me, um, has been just, it, it's just been, um, unbelievable. Okay. Um, it's so happy people happy. Like, I know it's a sad time for me, but I'm still a motivated, happy person. It's just, I'm going through life stuff, my life stuff, and I'm not bringing my life stuff into my, my business stuff, if that makes sense. Right. Okay. And then healthy. I look for happy, healthy, happy and healthy people. Like, cause why wouldn't we want health, healthy people? Healthy people have good energy. Healthy people have vibrancy, right? Healthy people are there to keep each other healthy, okay? And health for me is super important, especially now that, um, you know, I am actually in a company that's all about living clean and toxic free, but especially because what we're going through with our dog and seeing how, um, this cancer is so ugly. Cancer is ugly, you guys, and it spreads so fast. Um, and you don't, you think about toxins for yourself. You think about toxins maybe for your kiddos, but we don't necessarily maybe think about toxins that could be around your pets. And so um, I just share that because I think you'd rather have somebody that is, is healthy, right? Like wanting to live that healthy lifestyle than, than, than not because... Um, you know, happy body, happy mind, you know, happy practices, happy business, happy everything. So you guys, I hope that helps. Um, when I talk about posture, I hope you guys understand where that posture stems from. It stems from within. Okay. It stems from within you and what you project onto others. Okay. Okay. And so the number one way to do all of this, the number one way to build your business, the number one way, and this is what I'm always preaching, um, the number one way that I have created such success and not just in my network marketing businesses, but also, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm all about multiple income streams, right? So I have a coaching business. I do affiliate marketing. I do um, I have digital products. Like I create multiple income streams. I think as an entrepreneur, it's important to have multiple income streams. But um, the way I've created success in all of my businesses is to create that posture from within. Okay, and I think it's super, super important, um, not just for business, but also for your team environment. Okay, you guys. So I hope this helps. Um, if it did, drop me an emoji. Let me know give me some love. If, um, the number one thing though, what I was saying, sorry, you guys, I'm still kind of on flighty brain with everything going on. But what I was saying is the number one thing that has helped me be successful in all of my businesses is not just posture, but it's attraction marketing. Attraction marketing, you guys has been, uh, creating a brand, um, of not just, you know, good pictures and nice colors and all that. I'm talking like a brand where people get to know me and I get to know them. Like a brand is how you, how you make somebody else feel. Like when you show up, they're like, Oh, there's Julie. I know she's not going to like feed me BS today. Right? Like I know Julie, she's no fluff kind of girl. Um, she's pretty straightforward. I like her, whatever. That's what I mean. Like that's what's creating a brand um, is, is how you're showing up to the world and how you show up to the world is also how is also who you're going to attract to you. So I always make sure that I'm authentic to myself and that um, I always want to, you know, when I'm doing my videos or I'm, I'm putting out content, it's always stuff that I believe in you guys. And so that's what I'm saying is you want to build through attraction marketing. You want to build through creating culture. You want to build through holding that posture 
and not just getting anybody into your gig and really pre-qualifying them. And don't look for just anybody because people will jump ship. And you don't want to spend your time and energy with somebody if they're going to go and jump ship. So definitely pre-qualify them. All right, guys, listen, I got to run. I have a meeting. I hope this helped. And um, again, please share it. And if you do, I'll make sure to get you that free gift. And um, also, if you want to learn more about attraction marketing, all you got to do is type in the comments and say um, attraction. And I will make sure to send you a link that you can learn more about how I learned about attraction marketing. It was through someone very specific who's actually one of my uh, private mentors. And so I'll make sure to send that information to you as well. Again, just drop attraction into the comments. All right, guys, I'll see you all real soon. Bye for now.